the headlines, Finance Minister to detail steps for ensuring government expenditure discipline. Ashamai police stop Bakavomawo from donating food to cells inmates. Police arrest man for allegedly kidnapping five-year-old girl in Waliwali. And NAT insists its members will not pay rent for occupying government bungalows. Welcome to the news in brief on Graphic Online. Finance Minister Kenoforiata is to provide details of measures for addressing challenges facing the economy. It will follow consultations with key social and economic stakeholders after Cabinet took new measures, including expenditure cuts of all 16 major government flagship programs. The Finance Minister's proposed intervention is contained in a press statement issued by the Ministry of Information. At last week's Cabinet Quarterly Retreat for 2022, held at the Pediasa Lodge Ibri, President Tukufuadu approved a number of measures government says aim at shoring the weakening CD. The measures are also expected to ensure expenditure discipline and provide relief in the face of global fuel price hikes and inflation. Fix the country convener, Baka Vomawo, who is currently facing a treason felony charge at the Shaman District Court, Last Sunday was stopped by the police when he attempted to donate food items and toiletries to sell inmates. The police say his move is against police proceedings on feeding persons in custody. Bakavo Mawo says his move was a kind gesture towards the inmates whom he spent time with during his time in custody from February 14 to March 17. The police, however, say the move by the convener was against police standard operating procedures on the feeding of persons in police custody. The police say Bakavomawa was informed through his lawyers not to go ahead with the donation, but he went ahead to picket at the Shaman police station with the items. In an interaction with journalists, Bakavomawa expressed disappointment at the development and noted that he only got the message late that afternoon that the police were no longer prepared to receive the items. In the Northeast region, a 26-year-old Solomon Aulibiga, in an attempt to satisfy his mother's wish for a grandchild, has landed him in trouble. Solomon was arrested by the police for allegedly abducting a five-year-old girl in Waliwale in the northeast region to fulfill his mother's wish. The police say Solomon reportedly visited Waliwale and lured the child who was returning home from school. They explained that the suspect took the child to a hideout at Mirigu, a farming community in the Upper East region, where he was later arrested. According to the police, the suspect has been charged with child stealing and will be processed for court. The child has since reunited with the family after a medical checkup at the Waliwali Municipal Hospital. The Ghana National Association of Teachers is insisting that its members will not pay rent for occupying government bungalows contrary to a directive by the Ghana Education Service. They say they will fiercely resist any attempt to implement the directive. In a statement issued on Friday, March 17, NAT warned that their resistance may rock the industrial peace on the educational front, hence the Ghana Education Service must withdraw the directive. They are also cautioning that an attempt to implement the proposed 10% deductions from salaries of teachers and staff occupying government bungalows will amount to a breach of management union trust and an unfair labor practice. News in Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching today's edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at GraphicGH. I'm Ama Echan Amankwa Befi. Subscribe now.